Hi there! In today's tutorial, we're going to talk about an amazing tool of Photoshop called Liquify. So let's get started. So you see this handsome man? We're going to make him even more handsome using Liquify. So first of all, we're going to right click on the layer and convert this image into a smart object. Smart objects preserve an image's source content with all its original characteristics, enabling you to perform non-destructive editing to the layer. So let's head to Filter and then Liquify and you shall be introduced to a new panel. I'm going to zoom in and select the first option from the top left, which is a Forward Warp tool. What it does is, it pushes the pixels of an image forward as you drag and to control the pixels you push you need to adjust the brush size using the right bracket shortcut to increase it and left bracket to reduce the brush size. It's time to make our friend look young again so let's click and drag the brush against his tummy much like the fat slowly and it's always better to use a big brush and use minimal strokes than use a small brush and more strokes because the room for error decreases with minimal strokes for sharper curves in smaller areas like the waistline here we might have to reduce the brush size though firmly and evenly try to reduce this area to bring all the handsomeness back. We also need to be careful not to overdo it because then it might not look believable. As a graphic designer that is one important aspect we need to be really careful about. Let's work on the upper back as well, the same way we did the tummy. Always be careful with the brush size, so if the area you're working on is not large enough, try to match the brush size accordingly. Let's introduce the pucker tool to you, it's the fifth uh, one from the top. Uh, the pucker tool moves the pixels toward the center of the brush area, basically it, it makes things smaller so let's try it uh, on our handsome man here just a few more clicks and our guy will be back in the game let me also bring your attention to the folds around the left quadrant and the one just above the waistline now these are issues that cannot be fixed with the liquify tool we need other tools like Spot Healing or, or Clone Stamp Tool to fix that. So I'm going to cover that in a later tutorial, so don't worry about that. Let's ignore that for now. Let's demonstrate the Freeze Mask Tool here, which is the fifth one from the bottom. And what it does is when I paint it on our friend's back and then try to use the brush carelessly, You'll find that the painted portion does not get affected by my strokes because it it has frozen the highlighted area. Uh, this is particularly good when you have an image with tight spaces and you need to use liquid white. That's when you're going to thank Photoshop for this. And to remove the red frozen area, we have something called the thaw mask tool right below the frozen tool. So just select it and paint it over the red mask and it will vanish like it was never there. I'm going to use Command Z a couple of times to undo this and then uncheck the preview button to see the difference you've made in this man's life today. Now that is some difference I must say. One last tool I'm going to talk about today before we finish here. Let's click on the reconstruct tool which is the second one on the left and use a big brush. I hope you remember that to increase the brush size you need to hit the right bracket a couple of times and then run it over to the areas we worked on using the left click and hold and you will find that it reconstructs the body to its original shape like it was. 
So that's liquify for you a tool that changes lives. I hope you've enjoyed the video so I'm going to see you in the next one pretty soon. Signing off. Thank you.